Hi friends, Pastor Doug Batchelor. I want to welcome you to our Friday evening Bible question of the week where we're going to be talking about should a Christian celebrate Halloween? And naturally during this time of year, going far back as September, the store shelves begin to fill up with Halloween decorations and costumes and lots of candy. I understand that about one quarter of the annual sales of candy are in connection with Halloween. It is a multi-billion dollar business every year and uh, retail industries cannot afford to downplay Halloween because it's a, it's a real pot of gold for them, you might say. So how does a Christian relate to that? Probably a good idea to look at some of the history. Halloween can be traced back oh, about 100 years AD. It was a, a Celtic holiday that was celebrated in Ireland, England, Northern France that was pagan. And they believed on November 1st, it was a time in the year when the dead souls were able to interact with the living. And they believed that uh, if you didn't offer some kind of gift or treat or offering to the dead spirits at your door, they might play tricks on you. And so the night before the 1st of November, which is October 31st, um, they would make offerings. They'd put different kinds of offerings of fruits or vegetables, things from the harvest, so that they wouldn't have the evil spirits playing tricks on them. It was a time of peak activity. They would have bonfires, and the word bonfire actually comes from the root word bone fires. And it was all related to consulting with the dead and paganism and witchcraft and spells. And, and uh, what happened is around the time of St. Patrick, when he was there in Ireland, he was trying to get people away from the paganism. But uh, some of the Christians in Ireland thought, well, we could we could reach more of the Christians if we allow them to embrace and if we sort of baptize some of their pagan festivals. And so they started saying that Halloween was the time of All Saints' Eve. And uh, that they made the 31st of October be the day when they celebrated the dead saints, who they believed they could still pray to that weren't really dead. And uh, St. Patrick didn't support that. That kind of came later. And it grew into, eventually, the holiday of um, you uh, give gifts to people who come so that the spirits would not bother you. And uh, they kind of commingled some of the Christian aspects with the, the paganism. But um, uh, the Bible's pretty clear that Christians ought to avoid things related to witchcraft. Let me just give you a few verses from the Bible. Look at Leviticus 20, verse 27, that anyone who practiced witchcraft Sorcery, Susain, that was a death penalty. It was pretty serious. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9 through 13, it says, When you come into the land which the Lord your God is giving you, you shall not learn to follow the abominations of those nations. That's what happened there in Ireland and England when the Christians began to adopt those abominations. They shall not be found among you. One who practices witchcraft or a soothsayer, one who interprets omens or a sorcerer, or one who conjures spells or a medium or a spiritist who calls up the dead. For all that do these things are an abomination with you. And so there are some pagan holidays that uh, really don't conflict with any Christian principle. Thanksgiving is not the Bible, the American day for Thanksgiving, but obviously it's a great holiday that Christians can embrace, giving thanks. But really, Halloween is not something Christians should embrace. Uh, the Bible tells us in Ephesians 5.11, we should have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose or reprove them. And again, it says, think on those things that are just and good and noble and holy and pure. And you just walk up and down the aisles during the Halloween season, and you see all the witches and the monsters and the ghosts. And, and one of the things Christians need to really understand is the state of the dead. The living know they'll die, the dead don't know anything. Halloween, the yards are decorated with the ghosts and witches and spirits. And some of our neighbors are very creative. They got little tombstones all over their, their yard and spider webs. It's all kind of creepy. And you wonder, how much should a Christian support that? How do you relate to it? You live in a neighborhood where all the cute little trick-or-treaters are coming around. Are you supposed to open the door and then slam it in their faces after you tell them this is of the devil, we don't believe in Halloween. Uh, Bible says overcome evil with good. That's probably not the best witness. Um, in the bachelor family, you know, we might give them a box of raisins, give them something positive, and give them a track. You know, Amazing Facts has some new lessons that we've done for kids. 
We've got one called The Whistling Through the Graveyard. You can find it at the Amazing Facts bookstore. And also, if, uh, if you want to be able to witness to your friends in your workplace, you can tell them about our magazine on the afterlife. Talks about dealing with death, hell, and eternal life. This answers all the questions about what happens when a person dies, but it's also very positive. Talks about um, eternal life and helps them understand that as well. But what do you do with your kids? You know, the kids, they see all their friends are going to Halloween parties and things. Overcome evil with good. You might have a special church event where you, you do something positive during that time. Uh, they don't need to be roaming up and down the streets uh, and uh, filling their minds with those images and also filling their teeth with cavities. Now, if you can give out raisins, don't do the chocolate-covered raisins. Care of covered raisins. What do you do if you're in a family where you maybe uh, have a, one is a believer and the spouse is not? You know, I, I would be careful to try and keep harmony in the family. You know, there's some mountains you want to die on and some you don't want to die on. And, uh, you know, educate the children on what the Bible teaches about these things. Um, but, you know, it's important, I think, the kids learn from an early age that because we are Christians, we are different. And we may need to deny ourselves certain things, and we may need to stand up against persecution from neighbors and friends and say, here's why we don't celebrate that, because it's what the Bible says. And I can't picture Jesus um, dressing up like a devil or a ghost or even a mermaid and going up and down the streets and uh, knocking on doors, threatening if we don't get a treat, there's going to be a trick. So... I think it's one of the holidays Christians ought to avoid. And uh, you'll find more information on this at the Amazing Facts website. You can go to the Amazing Facts bookstore if you want to get some copies of material and things you can give away to the children. God bless and overcome evil with good.